What up, YouTube? Big Lou, Big Lou's Coach Review, back again, and that's right, today we're here to do a little review on the SSSP. That's right, this is the MCM Underground, uh, Filipino box mod company, mechanical tube mod, and RDA company. Uh, for those of you who know, or already know, that MCM does release pretty high quality products, and one for one, each and every one of their devices they release are pretty hard hitting. They never ever disappoint. And this box right here is pretty much the DIY of boxes that are above all. You know, like they've done everything. I mean, <laughs> this box is pretty crazy what you could do with it. You could use it as a single battery mechanical mod. You could use it as, believe it or not, series you could use it as a single battery squonk mod and if you purchase the kit they have a kit which i have not seen yet but you could purchase a kit to make this run in parallel battery formation also which i think is actually pretty interesting okay uh for the most part most people out there you know they're pretty stuck on certain things as far as like series and parallel goes. They're, they're like, well, you know, I, I, I like using a parallel mod, but I really like the intense heat of a series box, you know, and uh, I like the ramp up. It's quick and the clouds are huge. And, you know, it really depends on the type of vapor you are, right? I'm actually putting forth a video on the difference of series and parallel, basically, and, um, and how to make a build for series or parallel and using and choosing the correct RDA to do it for beginners, of course. Um, but I think it's pretty much for everyone out there. And I think it's actually going to be worthwhile cause putting that video out there. I like instructing people on, on, and guiding people on, you know, what decisions they could make in the vaping industry. You know, um, a lot of people aren't from the old school days of vaping and a lot of people who are in the old school days of vaping have either left or moved on with their lives. Uh, me, I kind of still find myself in this industry because I love vaping and I just don't want to give it up. And coming out, you know, companies coming out with products like this, a very, very simple, simple construction on how they can make something a series device or how they can make it a parallel device based on a kit that you purchase or you know it's just it's just I, I love the ingenuity behind vaping there's always something different that's always going to change your mindset towards things now what does this little device cost well because it's so versatile and it has so many different configurations you can do it'll cost you it'll run you roughly around 180 to 220 dollars depending where you buy it now um it's in the shape of an S, and it has predecessors that came before it. But uh, and there are very, very nice looking devices. They've got you know these uh, acrylic with crazy colors and you know glitter and shiny pieces to it and everything. That they have some really, really nice add-ons to it. If you use an eighteen six fifty battery, they do sell brass sleeves to put this in series mode with brass sleeves. If you want to keep the brass look up. Right now, I've got Sanyo 2700 batteries in here, which are red. So you can see the red on both sides. If it's not a look that you like, you can accessorize it how you would like it and how you'd be comfortable using it. Now, in this video, uh, in the up close portion of this video, I display how to use it as a squonk device because the squonk it's much more than just putting batteries in a mod and firing a button basically so i wanted to get into detail with the squonk portion of the video uh some people just display and show how it is as a series device and you know as a series device it's pretty serious okay it's pretty serious it ramps up pretty quick and it hits pretty hard it's a hot vape super hot vape and you could choose to vape it however you choose you know if you want to put it uh if you want to rock it in parallel mode by the kit and you can run it at a at a low ohmage resistance of a coil and still enjoy it parallel and have batteries with a milliamp per hour that can last you all day long or you could run it in series to get a really hot vape at 8.4 volts you can do that 
or you can run it in Squonk single, whether it's 18650 or 2700 or 21700. That's actually pretty cool that you have all those battery options, you have all those battery configurations, and if you're a Squonker type of person, you can have it as a Squonk. I think, hands down, that is extremely versatile. Now the cons of this device, the lines are a little sharp on it. It's a little big, it's a little boxy. It may not be for everyone to hold and handle, but I actually like the S design of the box simply because I can keep my wedding ring finger here, my thumb knuckle in there. I can hold it a certain way and it, it still feels comfortable. Although I feel the sharpness of the edges of the box, you know, I feel the sharpness all around this sharp, to it. It's not sharp where you're going to cut yourself, but you feel those sharp edges. And some people have said maybe they should round off the edges. You know, I've said it myself too, that maybe they could smooth it out or whatever the case is, but I understand why they did it the way they did it. And the way you're holding it, I feel like if it was smoother, it might not be as comfortable. It might, you might think it would be comfortable, but it may not have a better grip. When, with the sharp edges, I feel like you get a better grip. I haven't felt it as if the edges were smooth, but I imagine if they were smooth, it'd probably be slipping around in my hand. And I wouldn't like that. So I like the edges like this being sharp. Some people say it is a con, but it's really just a preference on the user, really. Uh, I've got pretty big hands too, so holding two 2700 batteries with this box you know, I feel like it's kind of constructed for my hand based on the fact that it's so big. Uh, but, you know, in the Philippines, there's not many big people in the Philippines. So therefore, people in the Philippines have small hands. So I imagine the guys who made this probably had small hands. And by them holding it, I guess it was okay for them, really. Maybe that's a racist comment. I don't even know. Maybe I'm being prejudicial or judgmental. But I'm just thinking off the top of my head, I guess. I don't know. But... I just feel like I'm being honest. That's about it, really. So let's dive up close. Let's check out this box mod. And trust me, you will love this if you buy it. Price tag's a little high, but you're getting so much versatility for it. I think it's so worth it. So let's dive up close. Let's check it out. And then you'll have my final word. Okay? So we got the unboxing of our MCM Mods Squonk device. That's right. Now, this is the white Delrin edition. Uh, they've actually inlaid a brass logo in there, which I thought was actually a nice touch. Instead of just doing an engraving of their logo, they actually put a brass logo in there, which I thought was an interesting touch, especially on the white Delrin itself. Now, um, opening it up. Taken and added a packaging. It's just basically a foam insert. On the opposite side, it's gonna have its authenticity information on the back. So you're gonna have your authenticity card, the number, who was it prepared by, when was it sent to me, and the serial number. I have number 711. Okay. So this is uh, actually pretty cool that, you know, people still include authenticity cards and fill them out by hand. I like seeing hand signatures. It lets me know a human being was involved in the production of this product. So looking at this device, we have their logo and in the mouthpiece section of the logo, it does say MCM. MCM has been engraved in the mouth portion of the face mask right there, the skull face mask with the uh, pistons coming out and the air filters on the side right there. So I think that's actually pretty cool. They have their um, underground engraved right here across the side here in the center. It says underground. I don't know how visible that is to camera. That should be visible. If not, I apologize. Uh, other engravings as well that cut through the Delrin, which I like. It's not just a flat white. It's actually, they gave some sort of aesthetics to the design factor on it. So I think that's pretty cool. Um, they cut it out here and here. And I'm going to tell you about those cutouts in a minute. And I like the fact that they did that. They didn't just have a straight, you know, Delrin going straight over here blocking off, you know, I, I know space is limited in having a squawk bottle here a battery here So and they want to keep the design aesthetically small So I get it, you know why they cut this out to make it as small as possible basically uh, Up top you got naval brass up top, which is really nice. You have a switch right here which the threading on a switch is awesome because they use 
micro fine threading. I mean, extremely fine threading. So I don't know if you can see that or not. I'm going to try and focus in, but the threading is super, super fine on here. Very, very fine threading. And as well as on the inside of the mechanical squawk box, very fine threading all the way through the naval brass. Okay. Up top, we have a 510 connect, which is removable, which does have battery venting, which I also use to take off of my RDA as well. Uh, very fine threads on this one as well. Very, very fine threads as well as the top portion. Very, very fine. You're going to see that my bottle is wet. It's got drops on it. That's not how it came to me. I use this squonk device on a daily basis. That's why the metal is slightly tarnished and the bottle is wet, okay? Now I'm going to back out this chamber here and we'll put that aside for a moment because we'll look at that in a minute, okay? And then we're also gonna take a look on the inside here, they give you a little 18650 sleeve. It is a copper contact, which I'm not really in full agreement why they left this copper. I would have silver plated this contact because down below, we have silver plated contacts down below. So why would we go silver to copper? It just doesn't make sense to me. Might as well just make everything silver plated. But I will admit and tell and, and, and tell you exactly how I feel about this. This is a very highly conductive squonk single battery device. It is super, super conductive. Very, very nicely done. Now the back, there's no inlays, no designs because it is the back and it is just plain old white on the backside, which I feel they probably could have continued this design on the opposite side, but for some reason they didn't. I, I don't know why that was left blank, okay? It's another canvas, I think, you know, and feel that whatever designs they did in the front, they could have mimicked and duplicated on the back, but they didn't. But that's fine. I don't really care 100% about that, but some people might say, well, why did they do it here and not do it there? I don't know. I really can't tell you. Uh, it does not compute, okay? Now down on the bottom over here, it does say MCM Mech Mods. It is engraved on here. Might be a little difficult to see. It might be out of focus. I'm not sure uh, because it is... Uh, a white device. It is very, very hard to see on camera. Okay. So I'm doing my best here to show you guys. So let me see if I can focus in on this. So yeah, so supposedly that's in focus. That says, uh, MCM, uh, MCM mech mods, and then H two zero zero seven one one so i have number serial number seven eleven so i'm guessing that h2 is probably meaning like batch two and i have number seven eleven i i don't really know but all in all very very happy with this design now what i like about the cutouts on here is so basically you got a place to hold it you know you gotta, uh, if you hold it a specific way, you can hold it a specific way. You know what I'm saying? So if, if you have a, uh, if you have the squonk here and a battery here, it gives you a certain way to hold it, to manhandle the box in usage, okay? So I like that. On the switch, we have a battery height adjuster and we also have a spring-loaded connection there and then a spring-loaded Ultim button with the brass, which this is Ultim, but underneath you have a silver-plated copper uh, button that will push and make contact into our silver-plated copper contact here. So this portion here will connect to our battery. So if I were to look at this, let's see, I would put this here, but let me go ahead and throw a battery in here. So this is a Moly cell or a Molly cell. It's a 20, uh, 2700 battery. So it's the 2700A by Moly Cell, okay, or Molly Cell. I'm gonna go ahead and drop this battery down inside. Now this is a 2700, but you can use a 21700 if you choose or if you like to. Uh, then you could screw on your switch. Very, very fine threads, but I'll have you know Finer threads equal better conductivity, 
Okay, just so you know. There we go. Very nice, firm throw to the top button. It's not mushy. Most Filipino boxes that I came across, the buttons can be quite mushy, or the springs they use don't have a high tolerance for anything. Then on this side would be our RDA and Squonk bottle side, which I'm going to get into showing you the Squonk bottle now. Now this is the Squonk bottle. Now the reason why it's encased in brass is because this device has to remain conductive because your RDA is going to connect to this. So there's a reason why you have brass surrounding your Squonk bottle and this is removable. On the very bottom you have a oval inlay right there. So that oval inlay is so it captures this silver plated copper contact at the bottom of this Squonk device. You'll see all the way at the very bottom there is a silver plated copper contact down in there. And that is a male contact which will go into this female inlay right here in the brass. Now my feelings are if you're going to silver plate copper on the bottom you should silver plate brass or silver plate copper or wherever throughout the entire device. That's just my personal opinion folks. Maybe it's not a necessity, but that's my opinion, okay? At the top portion of this Squonk bottle, there is an O-ring right here, which this O-ring is to keep a good seal between your RDA and the Squonk bottle itself because you don't want juice coming out the sides and pouring down on the outside of your Squonk bottle. You need a tight seal. And now this portion is also threaded into this brass tube. Very fine threads on this as well because they're keeping conductivity in mind. Now generally mine has usage. So if you look at the brass, you're like, damn, that brass is filthy. Well, it's because I used this device. And it wouldn't be fair to say this device came to me dirty because it didn't. It came to me looking very nice, okay? Came to me looking very nice and I'm very, very pleased. Machining could have been a little better, but not terrible. They did an excellent job on the threads. That's most important to me. As long as the threads are good and the conductivity is high, I'm very happy, okay? So the way this works is you would just put this in here and since it's male to female on the bottom, you'll see if I put this in, and then boom, it locks into place because it drops. So put it in, and it dropped down. You heard that little tuck? It dropped down, now it's fitting into place. Now it will not move left or right. So that's in there good. Now the bottle's a little small for me, and these threaded top portions, they're good for a really nice tight seal, and they work really well but my gorilla hands, I have big hands. Sometimes the finer threads on smaller things like this, like a juice bottle, doesn't quite work well for me. I need bigger threads for the juice bottle. Now the juice bottle's not being conductive, so there's no need for fine threads on a juice bottle, especially the cap. But that's just my personal opinion, folks. You know, whatever, whatever's. Okay, so, works well, it works fine. So, I'm gonna go ahead and take my bottle and, and before I put it in, I'm going to put some liquid in this bottle and then slide it back in here. So I'm going to be using a little Boston Cream. This is by Hit That or Hit This. So it's actually Hit That Boston Cream by Mike Vapes. Good liquid. It's a nice Boston Creamy liquid. I'm sure you'll enjoy it. If you like Dunkin' Donuts, you will love this flavor, basically. So I'm going to go ahead and fill this up. Now with Squonk devices, I never have a tendency to fill the bottle all the way up because I still have to screw this on into there. And then if I'm going to be squeezing the bottle, I'm most likely going to get juice shooting out all over myself. So I just don't fill it up all the way. Okay. So once that is filled up and you got your bottle all together, I just uh, actually going to shimmy this hose down a little bit. Okay. Now I just gotta thread this on here. Okay, so that's threaded on there nice and good. I've got my O-ring still at the top of the 
portion here and I'm going to go ahead and drop this into my device and then find where it finds its home. Now, earlier is a little easier because there we go. Sometimes it can be a little tedious to try and find the brass female hole and match it up with the male hole. But once it's in there, then you're good. Now, we have our 510 connection which is separate and it does have Delrin on the bottom with battery venting. And also, I like to call it, um, if let's say this device here is lodged onto your RDA and it comes off with your RDA when you remove your RDA, then you could just stick two tweezers in the holes and just spin this disc off your RDA. Now the RDA of choice that I'm going to be using today is this RDA. It's the Dead Goat. It's a collaboration between the Vaping Heathen and Omboy OC, the Dead Goat. Okay, I like it for squonking. I've used this for squonking over and over again. I like the airflow control cap and I like this drip tip. Now it's not the drip tip that goes with this. This is a actual um, a Death Wish Mods drip tip. This came with my Death Wish Mod. So we're going to go ahead and thread this on. And it's straight fire. Go to squawk. It works great. So there you have it, folks. We see this thing up close. Pretty impressive. Pretty nice looking device. Pretty simple, though. You know, silver plated copper contacts, I get. Uh, they left the top naval brass and the bottom naval brass. All right, I see, I get that, you know, because if you have the brass slides that go over the battery tube, if you're using 18650 batteries, then I get why it matches up that way. Uh, you can buy all different colors and designs of this box mod, basically, in general. So if you go to dragonsdenvapor.com, uh, i probably put the link at the beginning of this video so you guys can go there and check it out. It's pretty much a site where I go and pick up all my product, basically. And I, I think it's really worthwhile going there, shopping there. You know, if you have a credit card, you know, the way I live, I live based, my product buying habits are based on credit card. I'll buy something by credit card, I'll pay it off for a month or so, and then I'm done. And then I'll put a review out on it. That's why you don't see many videos released by me often, because I don't really get shit for free anymore. Having uh, a, a small subscriber base, but a dedicated small, sub which I'm perfectly fine with, trust me. I like my subscriber base. If I get a thousand views per video, I'm happy because these are dedicated subscribers that love to watch product reviews from me. And they do understand that I am an average everyday guy. I'm just like one of them. I work, I come home from work, I cook, I eat, I go to sleep, wake up, shower, repeat, do the same thing over and over every single day, six days a week. So my one day a week, I try to put out some videos and that's about it. So. From me to you guys, this is actually a really, really, really nice mod. Very simple, uh, pretty sharp on the edges, but you get used to it and you actually grow to like the sharp edges. I actually find myself gripping it a little tighter, digging the sharp edges into me because I have a good grip on it. I've been rocking it in series mode lately. Um, do I like it in single battery squonk mode? Yes. Very, very conductive. Very conductive. I mean, for it's probably for a single 2700 battery that goes in here to squonk with it, it's actually pretty strong. It's pretty hard hitting. It, it hits pretty hard. The other con that I feel on the squonk, though, is the bottle that it comes with. It's a little mush. It's a little soft. I like the bottles to be a little bit firmer when I push into them. And also the metal slide that, that's surrounding the squonk bottle. I wish it was cut away more, it was exposed more, but I get it though, because when I squonk with it, I use, my my finger wraps around the squonk brass part, and then when I go to push it, I just push it with my ring finger, and it works fine. Some people have said they would have rather have had it fully exposed. I guess, you know, but it's really not that important to me. I've grown comfortable to like the squonker on here very, very much. The bottle, you could always replace a bottle, get another bottle online somewhere. That's never a problem. They only chose that bottle because it fits within that brass sleeve a little bit more comfortable, you know, and that's it. So, uh, that's all I got to say, people. So, from me to YouTube,
Peace out. Like, comment, and subscribe. Thank you very much for watching. I appreciate all my subscribers and anyone who watches this video and gives it a thumbs up. And that's all I got to say. Peace. Laters.